Today, I have the full theme of Season 2, Chapter 3 to show you guys in this video, along with new Season 2 skins and the Level 100 Season 2 Battle Pass skin, guys. You guys do not want to miss out on this video, so make sure you're watching all the way to the end, so you do not miss out. If any of you guys want to be gifted a skin or anything from the item shop, as you can see, I have loads of V-Bucks gift cards, then all you simply need to do is go to there and now drop a like on this video, make sure you're actually subscribed to my channel, and then so I can actually gift you, make sure you comment down below the Epic Gamer Time. And I'll be adding loads of you guys. Anyway, let's take a look at the brand new item shop for today. So I can't lie, guys. This shop is actually lit. We've got the Monarchs Level Up Quest Pack, which is a pack that actually gives you levels for your battle pass. So if you haven't already got level 100, this would be good for you. We've also got all the NBA skins, and I'm pretty sure all the defaults are in the shop as well right here, as you guys can see. So if you're picking anything up from the brand new item shop, it would mean a lot if I could I choose my crates code, which is simply just radar for less. It's honestly got to be one of the easiest crate codes ever. Type it in, click accept, and then you'll be spotting me. And if you do use the code, you want to get hearts on one of your comments, then comment down below right now saying I use your code, and I'll be hearting loads of your comments, guys. As you can see, I have proof of this. I've been hearting absolutely loads of you guys' comments. So make sure you use my code. It really does mean a lot. Anyway, sit back, relax, and let's get into Season 2, Chapter 3, and the full theme. So, guys, Fortnite Season 2, Chapter 3 is releasing very soon, and I've made so many videos about Season 2. Two, but today's video I'm going to be talking about the full theme of season 2 and what you can actually be expecting to see when season 2 actually releases along with skins that's going to be inside of the battle pass within season 2 maybe even the level 100 skin trust me you don't want to miss out on this video this one is a crazy one now for the people that don't already know season 1 will be ending on March 19th which means that the live event will actually be going ahead and happening on March 19th itself normally for us in the UK live events happen at around 9 p.m. UK time so you can translate that to whatever time zone you're actually in and then normally when the live event actually ends we actually get put into a downtime and it will show us a timer that normally is around about 12 hours and when that 12 hours is actually over we can then go into the new season which would mean that chapter 3 season 2 will be releasing on the 20th of March which is one day after the 19th so the live event will happen on the 19th then 12 hours after that season 2 chapter 3 will start and we'll be able to play the brand new season now for the first season 2 chapter 3 leaks that we have already been given. These were not given by Fortnite themselves, but they were given by Tabor Hill. He's a Fortnite YouTuber and in one of his Fortnite videos, he actually gave us multiple pieces of information about Chapter 3 Season 2 and he can be trusted because he has given us information about new updates and seasons in the past as he was given information by Fortnite themselves. But he says that there will be a war against the Imagined Order, which is the IO, and that there will be a drivable vehicle with turrets. Now first, for the drivable vehicle with turrets, I would definitely say that this would be releasing within Season 2 as vehicles with turrets have actually been teased in the in-game files for a long time now and there's actually these concepts on screen of what they might actually look like when they do come into the game. I'm pretty sure they were first leaked within Chapter 2 Season 5 and we still haven't already got them and I'm pretty sure these will link right in with Chapter 3 Season 2 as, as it also said it says that we'll be in a war against the Imagined Order. Now if we're going to be in a war against the Imagined Order I would say that we'll be on the 7s side. If you don't know the 7, it's basically all of these characters on screen right here. And this season, the sevens already implemented within the storyline quite a lot. With obviously the foundation being the secret skin and then also the rockets getting launched at the sanctuary to get information from space. So I would say that this information is very promising as also the IO is already implemented within this season's storyline with obviously Covert Cavern being drilled out by the IO with all the drillers, but also we've still got all the IO drill outposts on the map as well and they are still drilling for something on the map right now. And also something that Hypex did actually mention was the fact that Epic might have to try and recreate the concept of Chapter 2 Season 2 with the whole Ghost and Shadow storyline, but do it with the IO and the Seven. And as I've just said, there will be a war against the Imagined Order, so it could be like the Seven versus the IO. That would be so cool. And if that did actually happen, there would be so many weapons and item possibilities that could happen. For instance, we could have Mythic IO weapons and then Mythic Seven weapons. It would be so cool to see new weapons in the game like that because I don't really think the mythics from chapter 2 season 2 have actually been beaten yet. Those mythics were definitely OP but yet so fun to use guys. But yes that looks to be the theme of chapter 3 season 2 and it's so good that we already know what the theme actually is because we still are around about a month until the season actually releases. With the theme of season 2 looking like it will be the IO versus the 7 we will most likely see the last 3 members of the 7 in the season 2 battle pass and the 5th member is actually the origin 
imagine this guy on screen right here with a sick second edit style. Not gonna lie, he's probably one of my favorite looking members of the seven already. And then also these two are apparently the sisters. And if you do remember from the chapter two season six trailer for the event, the foundation did actually mention the sisters, but he also mentioned Jeno as well. And I think he's supposed to be the leader of the IO. So he would definitely fit in with the storyline of next season. And we could be seeing him as a skin within next season or maybe in the next season's battle pass as well. So that's four skins right there that we could see in the season two battle pass. But there's also this IO bundle on screen right here with a ton of IO skins, basically like IO variants of skins we've already gotten. As, as you can see, there is the IO Doggo, the IO V, and also the IO Master Key. But the guy in the middle is actually the Gunner, who is actually at Covert Cavern right now. He's the boss that drops, obviously, the Mythic Weapon and the Key Card. So he could be a skin within Chapter 3 Season 2, but I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be the March Krupak skin, as Alika did actually say that. Another skin that would definitely fit in within the theme of Chapter 3 Season 2 is actually the Prisoner Jonesy skin. If you remember within the Chapter 2 Season 8 live event, you could actually see him in this orange kind of like prisoner suit. And obviously, as you guys probably already know, that skin isn't actually in the game. It's not been in the item shop. It's not been in the battle pass. So we could be seeing him within next season's battle pass or the secret skin for next season because I'm pretty sure everybody wants to see that. Now, guys, as I've just said, Chapter 3 Season 2 will be a war between the Seven and the Imagined Order. And with that, there's already been a ton of hints towards a war season with new weapons and items that have actually been leaked as there is a brand new tank vehicle, tactical sprinting, which is like the sprinting in COD Warzone, tactical overshield, clamber for parkour and climbing. And then for a weapon, we have a mythic thermal AR, which will actually apparently come with a new POI. Then new vehicle mods with turrets and armor. As I've already said, we are expecting to see a vehicle with turrets within next season. So that fits right in. And then finally a Zeppelin, which I think is like a blimp, which will be a new vehicle for next season as well, guys. So a ton of new items and different things that will most likely release within next season or within an update next season as there is apparently going to be five main updates within chapter three season two and these are apparently main updates which means these updates are going to be big updates bringing big things into the game and any of those items or new mechanics or vehicles could be added within an update within chapter three season two or they might just be there when chapter three season two actually releases guys either way i'm so hyped to use all those new mechanics and items and everything like that within next season it looks to be an incredible season already and i hope you did actually enjoy this video if you did make sure you're good on them and i would drop a like on this video guys make sure you're actually subscribed to my channel we are so close to 2,000 subscribers so make sure you're subscribing and if you are picking anything up from the brand new item shop it would mean a lot if you could actually use my creator code which is simply just radar four letters it has to be one of the easiest creator codes ever to use guys and thanks to everyone that's actually already using it it really just mean a lot and yes i will see you later